guys and welcome to today's Halloween craft. This is part of my countdown to a Halloween series where I do a Halloween craft every Sunday and we'll be doing this up until the 31st of October. So for today's craft I picked up a large silver platter or plate and I paid a pound for this. Um, Originally when I had this idea I wasn't going to do it on something so big but then I went in Poundland and they had the Halloween stuff in so I thought I'll incorporate some of that into it as well. I am using some white A4 card that I picked up also from Poundland, the Turner and Grey black gloss um, spray paint that's from B&M's. I paid £2.99 for a tin of this. I picked up some LED tea lights. I do have some white ones, but I wanted them to be black. I was going to spray paint the white ones, but when I saw these in the shop, I thought I might as well pick them up for a pound. It saves me a job. Then I also picked up some bits from the Halloween section in Poundland. So you can use whatever you want, but I used this cage and I got two of the LED candlesticks and I also picked up a skeleton I think it's a rat um yeah it's definitely a rat it's not a mouse um and that's what I'm going to use for the center of my display then I've also got some dark purple and red flowers that I'm going to put around the edge and you'll also need a glue gun a pair of scissors and I think that's about it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some candles for the display. So I'm going to do this with the white card and because they're battery ones you need to be able to take the candle out of the candlestick to turn it on and off and the candlesticks will be stuck to the platter. So I'm just going to wrap the card pretty tight around the candle. I don't want to stick it like I said because you want to be able to pull the candle out to turn it on and off so I'm just going to wrap it round make sure it's nice and even so they all stand up and then you should still be able to pull the candle out and push it back in once we've stuck it together so I'm just going to use some hot glue from the glue gun and I'm just going to stick that down and I just rolled it until it was stuck like so. You're not going to see the join in the candle because it will be back at, at the back of the, the display but um, yeah and you can still pull the candle out and push it back in to turn it on and off. So I decided I wanted four of these candles at different heights so I'll do another one and all I'm going to do is take another piece of card. I'm just going to draw a line down all the way across or down the paper. And then I'm just going to cut that out. And I want all four candles to be different heights from each other. And again, I'm going to use exactly the same technique. I'm just going to roll the card around the top of the candle and then glue the edges together. And then I'm going to do the other two off camera so you don't have to watch me do them, do all four. And I will come back to the next step after I've glued this down. And that's the second one done. So I've done all four. I've done them at four different lengths. And now we can do the fun part. So I'm going to add hot glue 
around the top of the candle i'm going to take the candles uh, the actual battery candle out of it and i'm just going to start to put glue around the top of the candle quite thick and i'm just going to bring it down slightly as i'm going around to give the effect of melted wax and i'm going to do that all the way around the candle and you can make the drips of glue as long as you want or as short as you want and I'm just going to carry on round like so. And while I'm doing that, I'd just like to say thank you for everybody who's watching my videos. It's great that you've shown me so much support and love. It means the world to me more than you'll ever know. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos. And if you do and you'd like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. If you give it a thumbs up, that'd be even better. And if you leave a comment, I'll always reply. So I've done all four now. I've been all the way around them with the hot glue. And now for the next step, I'm going to spray paint them black all the way around and over the glue that we've just stuck on and I'm also going to spray paint the tray as well I'm not going to do them underneath I'm just going to do the top and around the sides so I'll have to leave these to dry for 24 hours so I've done that but while they're drying I'm going to just sort out the center of the display so I picked up these few bits from Poundland I also picked up some of the spider web and you get, I think it's 12 spiders in there as well. I have to confess, I'm not a massive fan of this stuff. I don't like the feel of it. It snags on everything, but I wanted to use it. So for the first part, I'm just going to put some hot glue on the bottom of the rat's feet. And I'm going to stick him in the center of the cage. And then I'm just going to check that I can actually put the cage over the top because it is, is quite a snug fit. And it does fit. I wanted to put the bird in it. I also got a skeleton bird, but it's too big. It won't fit in the cage. And then I'm just going to pop some of the spider web stuff around his feet. And then I'm also going to pop a, cup, a couple of the spiders on top of the cobwebs. And then I'm going to stick one on his shoulder as if he's crawling up. And I'm just going to use a bit of hot glue to stick him into place. And I'm just pulling off the excess glue that I managed to get on his rib cage. And there he is. So I'm just going to pop the lid back on and pop him to one side until the tray is dried. So it's the next day. I've changed the camera angle and the tray is now completely dry. I'm really happy with the effect. Like I said, I've not done underneath. I've just done the top. And we can start adding the decorations on to the plate. So I'm going to stick the... I'll just show you the candles. So this is what it looks like once they're spray painted with the hot glue down the side and I'm going to pop the candle on and pop it back in just to show you. And there we go. So that's what it looks like once it's done.
So I'm going to put the cage in the center as the focal piece. And I'm unsure if I was going to take the top of the bird cage off or not with the hook. I was going to take the hook off, I'll leave it on. In the end, I decided to leave it on. And I'm just going to place the candle stick the candles where I want them to be. And then on the other side, I'm going to put the other Halloween stuff that I bought. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to stick the cage to the plate. And I'm just making sure that E is facing front way. And then I'm going to put hot glue around the bottom of the card. And then I'm going to stick them into place and I'll be back once I've stuck all four in place and the, and I've put the candles in them and then I've put the other bits where I want them I'm not going to stick them I'm just going to put them there so I'm decided because I was going to add some flowers I didn't want to stick all the flowers to the plate because I wasn't too sure if I was going to keep them on there or not so I just cut a piece of card to fit in front of the cage and that's what I'm going to stick the flowers to and the leaves. So I'm just going to speed it up so you can see how I do it. But basically I'm just adding some dark green foliage. And I wanted dark colours for the flowers because I knew I wanted it to be quite gothic. Um, and if you've seen any of my other videos, I, I pretty much use flowers in near enough everything that I do. So... Um, yeah, I do like I do like to add flowers. So I'm just using a mixture of dark purple and dark red and just placing them where I want them to hide the cardboard. And obviously it's completely up to you how you decorate yours if you decide to make one. I'm just showing you how I did mine. You know, feel free to do whatever you want. Just take the idea and be creative with it. That's the whole, That to me that's the fun thing about being, you know, doing crafts is seeing something and thinking, oh I like that, but putting your own spin on it and um, making it more to your taste. So this is just to give you the idea and like I said you can just do whatever you want with it so so once I'd finished sticking the flowers to the front I then just placed some flowers at the sides um, I didn't want to stick, um, there wasn't, I was only putting one or two flowers so it didn't need to put any cardboard down and um, I didn't want to stick them down so I just placed them at the sides. I put some on the other side of the skull and then I also put some around the candles that we made. The skull does light up but the candles that I bought from Poundland, they have a yellow, orange glow to them and the tea lights the battery ones are also like an orange um color and the lights in the skull are bright white and i didn't like the way it looked with the two different colored lights so um i didn't use i didn't end up putting the lights on in the skull i just used 
the ones in the candles that we'd made and with the ones that I bought. I actually really like the 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 ones at the back, the tall ones that we didn't make the other ones. Um, they're glittered, they're like black glitter and they're really nice and I'm actually thinking of doing something in the bathroom with another two of them um, around my mirror which obviously if I do I will do a craft for you and make a video so you can see what I do with them but yeah it's given me an idea so I think I'm going to go and get some more of them so once I'm happy with the front I'm going to just pop some like I said around the sides just to fill out the plate a bit and to give it more of a finished look like I said I didn't glue them I just placed them there and then once I've done this I will take the display into the hall and I will finish it off I'm going to add some of the spider web um, to it and I'll take some pictures I'll um, show you what it's like when it's done with the lights on and then I'll show you what it looks like when the lights are off and it's all lit up so I hope you've enjoyed the video like I said I'm doing these Halloween crafts every Sunday so if you like your Halloween stuff you please feel free to subscribe and then you'll know every time that I release a video and yeah I hope you're all well Take care for now and I'll see you on Monday for my next craft. Quickly, I was just thinking of adding the bird to the top of the cage, but I didn't like it, so I decided to leave it. So I'll see you in a bit for the finished piece. So I've added some spider webs. I didn't want to put too much on it. And I've just added a few spiders on the flowers. Um, I think I used three. And yeah, this is what it looks like without the lights on. And this is over the top of it. And yeah, I'll turn the lights off now so you can see it. And I'll see you in the next video, everybody. Bye now. Take care.